Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to talk about building um, a USB cable for the up air. So, what you see over here, this little bit of a mess, is actually the electronic guts of an up air one, uh, up air one version two. Now, one of the things I've come to discover is that in the the newer versions of the up air, they've switched from an APM board to a, to a PX4 board. And if you take a look at that PX4 board, and I think I'll do a little bit of an overlay somewhere up here, uh, one of the things you'll see is that it does have a USB port on it, but this guy doesn't. However, if you look at the pinouts, um, it's very similar to this board. So what I've discovered is this, uh, if you look at the original board, this is typically a USB, a micro USB port, but they've replaced it with a DF13 um, connector and DF13s are basically the same type of connectors I get this in here that the APM modules use and so what I did is I took my multimeter here and uh, it's a little bit off the thing it's um, it's an oldie but a goodie and, and I, I tested the voltages and they matched out with what it would have been or should be I should say for a USB port. So what I did is I connected this up. I went and got some of these um, uh, USB A's. Um, I believe these are males and so they actually plug in and it allows you to create your own USB cable. You can also do this with a USB, USB cable and strip it off. And then what I did is I lined up the power then I took the other two ports because you're going to have a data negative and a data positive port because this is sort of like an old RS-232 or at least that's the way I think of it and so you have a negative going and a positive going signal line and those match up so and I'll try to do a little bit better version of this but what I matched it up is is actually you need to turn it this way in reference to the way the board is sitting but um, in reference to how it's laid out so you have plus five you have data negative you have data positive and you have ground so what these translate to in the colors of a USB A is red white green and ground or black um, here now for the pinouts facing down you have one two three and four and sort of flip it over you reverse that so, so long story short, I'll see if I can't zoom in, but you see over here my connector starts with um, a red here. So now that's, if I lay this right here, and maybe I'll see if I can't get a zoom in, uh, it, it aligns with this. But when you flip it over like this, it's reversed. So red has to start down here. And so that's why I flipped the pins over here. So when you go to make this, now I know this might be a little bit confusing, and I, I'm going to try to probably put a little bit better diagram on my website, video-drone.diy3dtech.com. And I'll put all the links below to the cables and connectors and all that for this so you don't have to worry about it. Because uh, I don't want it to be that confusing, because it does get a little confusing flipping this over. So that's why I want to do the video, and I want to get this, make sure I get this in frame. So if you get these, you know, you think of it this way. When you go to solder it, just flip it over and think of it in a reverse sense um, here. So that, that's why I kind of want to get the video so you can go back to this video and, and reference it. And again, I'll zoom up on this piece. Um, but anyways, I've got it connected right now to Mission Planner. Um, it's acquiring satellites. This is actually in my basement. I'm actually surprised that it can acquire satellites in my basement. It actually uh, has done a pretty good job. I just fired this up. So right now it's in the process of acquiring satellites. So I don't know if you can see that the, the map is moving around a little bit. And it's just getting closer and closer to uh, its actual location. And the thing I was actually surprised is even in the basement, um, the two floors above us, it was actually able to get not only the right house, however, the right position in the house, which really surprised me anyway. Um, so it just goes a little bit to the quality of the GPS in this unit. Anyways, with a hooked mission planner, you can do what you have. Now, the piece is, why did I go this route? I, I couldn't find an easy source outside of buying um, some APM cables, which is what I did. So I've got a set of, of fives and fours here. And what I simply did is I took a, a four set, four connector set, and I just cut the one end off and actually soldered it 
onto these ends. And again, I'll put links to these. I got these, I believe, off eBay. And so I made a cable like this. Now they do come with a cover. So you snap the cover on. This goes in here and snaps in. And then the other half, and then if this end is cut off, just for example, these would go inside there. I put, I put a little piece of heat shrink tubing because I'll make that for the strain relief going into the USB-A. And uh, so that'll work out pretty good because what I want to do is this will be tucked up inside the up air. And then what I'll use is a USB extender cable to reach up in there so I don't have to have a lot of cable. Uh, very lightweight, very effective. And then I can, you know, program it in the field or what have, a, have you using Mission Planner. So those out there that, you know, uh, opened it up and, and like I did, found a little bit of horror there's no USB connector in it there actually is and this is how you go about it now the newer new one um, I'm not sure about it. I, I don't have one so I can't really tell you the one that that's now app driven but I'm assuming it's probably going to be pretty much the same as this now I have spoken with up air they have changed the control board somewhat so I don't know if it's still the same control board but I'm going to bet you probably dollars to donuts that it, it's still going to have some sort of USB connector and what I suggest, and again, do this at your own risk, inverted commas, quotes, what have you, uh, look for a four pin connector on the board and then on, on, on the inside and outside, you know, take a multimeter and you should be able to find five volts um, with it powered on. And if you're seeing five volts, then you know that that's number one, probably a good chance that it is a connector. Now, what I did, is you notice there's no battery plugged in so this is actually being powered by the USB port back into this um, it is 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 again I removed the battery connected this up because again once you identify your hot you know that it's going to be data negative data positive and then ground so wire that up and it's sh if it's USB port it's gonna power it up and probably gonna work just like it is here now without a battery and the piece is, since you don't have power feeding back in, you don't have a big short worry. But again, first thing is to get your powers correct over here. Again, this is all at your own risk if you want to experiment like I did. And that's sort of how I discovered this, is I simply just wired it up, plugged it in. I actually used an older laptop to do it. Uh, once I found that it did get signal, then I felt comfortable plugging into a new one so I didn't destroy my USB port. You know, so there is some risk to this discovery process, but so far with this one, again, this is pretty much the case. So, with this, anyway, hopefully this helped. If you have questions, hit me up below. Uh, also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Um, and then don't forget, subscribe is coming up over there. And if you have uh, any questions, you know, let me know below. I think I already said that, I'm kind of stuttering here. Uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.